Hey folks, my name is Chris Holden, and uh, I'm going to be teaching a class called Much Ado About the Square Root of Less Than Nothing uh, for the Honors College, starting in the, in the fall of 2024. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and the course here. I guess, first of all, I'm the sort of person who chooses to make a blackboard in my house. So you get a little bit of a sense of, uh, I might be that kind of weirdo. Um, I'm also the person who has a plan to go and get dressed and get out a real camera, but uh, this cat won't let me alone. So I'm going to record the video with the cat here. Uh, let's see. So this class is a class all about the complex numbers. And I think most often in school, you talk about them for a couple weeks in an algebra class, maybe solve some quadratic equations, um, you talk about the imaginary number that's a square root of minus one, maybe, um, and then you forget about it. And it seems like one of those things, one of those many things in math that you just sort of are asked to learn about and then don't really have a reason to care about it and forget about it. The weird thing is that for mathematicians, the complex numbers are the exact opposite. They are like the most natural basic, um, you know, sort of home base for what numbers are. And my introduction to this was as a, a freshman at UNM. I had a class. Oh, good. Now we're getting some bites. This guy plays very rough. Ouch. Um, I had a class, a uh, Calc 2 class, and the professor said, when you do calculus with real numbers, you're looking through a door that's just barely ajar. And when you do calculus with complex numbers, you throw the door wide open. Ow, God. Um, and I followed him to the class on complex numbers and into math, and now I feel that way too. Um, so this class is about showing you that other side of what these complex numbers are that only mathematicians usually see but also seeing why it's kind of their weird things and how to make them less weird or maybe embrace their weirdness. Um, also to see where they ended up being actually useful for people. It's not just mathematicians who need them. Um, there's lots of places where the complex numbers make the most sense, but most importantly, in like very everyday physical kind of applications. Anytime you're doing anything with the mathematics of a fluid flow, whether that fluid is water or electricity or anything else, the most natural way to think about those mathematics is in terms of the complex numbers. And that's kind of weird because the square root of minus one seems like an impossible thing. So this is a hopefully a very interesting mystery that I can encourage you to put up with. Um, like all math classes in honors, there will be no tests. We will be doing math. We will be getting our hands dirty. Um, so I don't want to sugarcoat that for you, but I will also say that the idea is to make this something enjoyable and possible regardless of your prior experiences in math, um, how many of them you have, how well they went, um, whether you consider yourself to be a math person or not. The whole idea of this class and any math class I would teach in honors is to be available and succeedable uh, for anyone who gives it a try. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think I'll get to show you a lot of cool things and you will be proud of what you will be able to do uh, when you're done with it. So I hope to see you there.